Russians, they are just a high character group, very talented, athletic, tough, um, a lot of room for, uh, you know, I think we got a lot of room for just, uh, I say development, but what I mean by that is just learning the defense. But they're a great group, man, great leadership. I mean, really, really impressed with that. You have three starters returning, but yeah. I, I know there's a lot of competition. How would you describe where it stands right now? Competition. And it's, you know, it's kind of like next man up right now. Uh, so, you know, we have so many guys, so you kind of got to roll them and try to put people in spots. But they've been competing, and uh, I've been pleased with that part of it. And everybody's been learning everything, which is great, which uh, helps you in terms of, you know, trying to trying to put people in positions to play. So um, it's been it's been competitive, but it's, you know, guys are working. It's hey, awesome. Al, uh, the day your first press conference here asked you, what would it be like to be in a position to look at your whole room from top to bottom with no yeah. preconceived notions and mm -hmm. kind of start a new depth chart or start a new thing from just your own analysis? I mean, yeah. what's that been like for the first few weeks to just kind of, you know, sit back and get these guys on the field and yeah. really see what you've got in that room like with your eyes? It's been awesome because here's why. Every kid knows that, so you get everybody's best. Like, nobody's comfortable, nobody's complacent, everybody's growth-minded, everybody's eager. And so as a coach, you know, I'm not coaching effort. And I'm not saying a place like this you ever would, but it's human nature, right? So it's been awesome because everybody's kind of bought into that and, uh, and actually helping each other, man. Uh, you know, oddly enough, you know, I say oddly enough, but guys are very supportive of each other. But when they're out there, they're, you know, they want it. So it's been, it's been fun in that way. Is that hard? As like, the coach? Like, just meaning like... Usually you have precedent. You've got people who started. You've got returning starters. You've got cap. Is it is it hard to start from top to bottom from the beginning? Well, I mean, look, Malik Harrison, for example, he's a fourth year guy. He's a senior. I mean, clearly he's not on the same level as a freshman, right? I right. Mean, so when I say that nobody's comfortable, I mean Malik Harrison has earned enough equity in his body of work. He's an excellent okay. talent. So I don't mean that. I mean more so in the middle. Uh, but you take a guy like Dallas Gant. You know, who, who's a young player, and he, he's getting opportunities, emerging, Taraja Mitchell. Like, those guys, to me, are the ones I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, so I some mean, guys do have equity. You got to. I okay. mean, what do we, you know what I mean? Like, a guy like that, I mean, you got to – I mean, and he's, he's, he's shown that. He's worked his tail off. Uh, he's, uh, you know, been a – I mean, he's been an unbelievable – he's been a leader. So, okay. I don't want to be – you know, I don't want to say that. You know? Yeah, I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, a guy like Tough Borland. Yeah, Tough. Yeah. Those guys, man uh, – I tell you, you know, Pete Warner, Justin Hilliard, uh, Baron Browning, those guys have been here, man. I mean, they got equity. So, I mean, you know, you, you, know, you, uh, you respect that, and uh, that stuff matters. You know? But are you in a position where you would make a change if you felt it wasn't the right move? No, I wouldn't say. I mean, this is the fourth practice, uh, I think it is. So, I mean, you still got a lot left, you know. So, um, I don't feel like I'm ready to answer that yet, but uh, everybody's been working their tail off, so for sure. You mentioned Dallas Scanlon. What has he done to emerge? Man, that guy, he's uh, done every, all the little things, talk special teams, and our culture, this is something that's been here from Coach Meyer, and I've uh, been fortunate to be around coaches that have been, uh, that have worked under Coach Meyer, but special teams is huge, right? And so a lot of times it's a rite of passage for a young player. And so Dallas Gantt, man, he is, you know, he's taken that and run, ran with it. Uh, he's done a great job, and, and his role as a linebacker, man, he's, you watch the tape, he shows up, you know, he, and he's competing, and he's every day getting better. So, uh, really excited about him. He's done a great job. This year, you took a decent amount of criticism last year. When you watched the tape, did you feel like that was justified, and I, how do you feel like it's, you guys look so far? Do you feel like this will be a strength of the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I, last year, criticism, and, man, they won, lost one game. So, uh, everybody's got stuff to improve on, so I don't really get that much love, to be honest. It was the position. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know you weren't here last year. Yeah. From working with your guys, how much of a sense are you getting that what you're asking them to do is something new? Uh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, honestly, um, they just kind of have bought in and have gone to work. Um, I mean, everything's new because you got a new scheme, right? So I think that's tied into it. Um, but. There's no resistance. There's no, I mean, if they, if they make a mistake, you very rarely are making it twice. So um, I think they've taken to it, you know. So I don't know if that answers your question, but, um, you know, I, I don't give, I don't, I try to focus on the stuff that matters. It's kind of what, what they're doing now 
fixing what they're doing or you know encouraging them that type of deal so uh, you know uh, I think they've been going, doing well with that adjustment well, you I, said earlier you're not coaching effort because everybody's busting their rear end they are that, man you're not having to it's I mean, the big time, right? They know. They know. Everybody here, I mean, every kid here, man, with Coach Marathi, Yep. I mean, it's a culture. So um, everybody wakes up. I mean, you should see these guys at 5 a.m., man. They take the field running. Uh, it's a great culture. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, every, you know, human nature see, comes in every once in a while, but that's normal. But, uh, yeah. What's the adjustment to Ryan Day? <clears throat> adjustment? Yeah. Man, you know what? Um, I don't know if they're I mean, I, you know, I uh, think he's done – Obviously, done a really good job of uh, just communicating. So uh, I don't know if there's an adjustment, and that's hard for me because I'm just getting here. Yeah. So uh, it seems like everything is, is rolling. Uh, to my understanding, rolling as it, like it has been. You know. So. Alan, I know you guys have been experimenting with a hybrid linebacker safety kind of position. What yeah. is your guys' goal for that position? Just to the playmaker, put them in position to make plays. You know, see what they can do well. Um, you know, kind of you know grow their skill set. You know. Um, so, you know, me and Coach Maddie, you know, we, you know, we every day is kind of like, and Jeff, Coach Athlete, trying to figure out, you know, uh, what a guy does well and then try to put him in a position to do it. Just asking if I was going to fight with you. What? What? Why? Why? Because. Oh, God. That's my guy right there. Will you guys recruit to that position or do you just take what you've got and find it? a great question. <laughs> You're a ball guy. <clears throat> because, so the, the origination of that position was you take a safety who may be not as fast, and you plug him in in that position. But now I feel like that guy, I mean, you think about historically, that guy is a guy who can sack. He can pass, rush the passer. Not every safety can do that. He's a guy that has to be able to play at the line of scrimmage, use his hands. Not every safety can do that. Guy has to be able to cover man, a slot. Not every linebacker can do that. So, and it's funny, high school is, they set the trend. You're seeing high schools use that guy. And so you kind of do, you can recruit to that guy, I think to a certain extent. That's a great question.